My name is Nicole Holland. I'm a Spanish teacher in Washington, D.C. It was my first time teaching in middle school. It was hard at first. I honestly did not know what to do. I was walking into these classrooms. Kids were fighting, cursing, throwing pencils. And this school also academically sometimes doesn't always have the motivation to do well in their classes. So I decided that I needed to make personal relationships with these kids. And I remember watching the girls at lunchtime that they were dancing with these videos. And so I decided, okay, you know, they like dancing, I like dancing, so maybe we can bond over this dancing part. Started noticing that the kids started having fun with it. The students really love music and love dancing. So how can I incorporate it in my classroom to get them excited about the language? So we started coming up with a lot of vocabulary songs and that helped them, one, memorize the song, and two, also have fun with Spanish. The engagement level is much higher. When I start introducing them to like reggaeton, bachata, merengue, salsa. Spanish is like from one to four. It's like a three. Yo soy simpática. ¿Qué día es hoy? Hoy es viernes. Estamos en junio. Yo tengo cinco hermanas. What's your favorite part of coming to Miss Holland's class? I think Miss Holland herself, because she's so fun and interactive with us. She actually wants us to not only learn, but experience them. I really believe in students learning through experience. I'm part of the Embassy Adoption Program. Embassy Adoption Program is a program about learning their cultures, languages, politics, all of that. Embassy Adoption Program has influenced the trips that I do. I also want them to have higher goals. That's why I take them to these different embassies, try to teach them. I could become a diplomat. We are a developing country, which means we are focused on building our nation. And at the moment, our GDP... I, I personally want them to have a positive outlook on diversity. There's just too much division. There's too much of fear of the unknown. When I want the students to understand that even though you don't speak the same language, maybe you physically look different from that person. They come from a different country you still have more in common than you realize. 